Hello there, this is Mark Edwards from Cape Yachts. Uh, this is in South Dartmouth, Massachusetts on a beautiful summer day here in July. And I want to give you a little walkthrough of our in-stock uh, Beneteau Swift Hauler 41. Uh, this is a new model for Beneteau, which just got introduced this year. And so uh, this is my first opportunity to do a personal video. Uh, there are some uh, available on the Beneteau cha uh, channel. And uh, Captain Steve, I believe, will be coming up with one uh, for BoatTest.com as well. But for now, let me give you my uh, little short tour of our stock boat. I'm coming at it from the starboard side. Uh, you can see it's a beautiful boat aesthetically. Uh, it's got a really big swim platform. And this uh, seat slides fore and aft. So the platform actually gets bigger when we pull the platform forward more into the cockpit. Uh, there's a table that's hidden away in, a, in a, a dedicated locker that can come right here. So the social seating and dining aspect of this exterior cockpit space is really great. And the whole cockpit uh, may be ordered with an enclosure as well to keep this uh, protected from the elements. And there's a door here by the sideway uh, which uh, can help keep the breeze from flowing down into the cockpit and keep the rain out. Uh, it's a really wide side deck, you can see. Now, this is an asymmetrical deck, so wider on the starboard side than on the port side. The great thing about this is here's the helm station right here. you got a big, wide open door. Uh, really easy to step right here onto the platform, and you have a door out from the hull onto the dock. So if you're driving this boat by yourself, uh, that's really going to be easy because you have the controls with bow and stern thruster right there and uh, you can manage it just by yourself with lines brought to the middle. Uh, this is the uh, sort of social area up on the bow. It's really a great space to hang out. Uh, there is a hatch under there that can be opened at the same time. Uh, but uh, come, come uh, bring your cocktails and uh, enjoy the company out here. Uh, this is a really nice foredeck area. Electric uh, anchor windlass is here. That can be controlled from up on the bow and from uh, either of the two helm stations. Uh, we got a nice window uh, windshield effect, three windshields, three wipers. Uh, this is the roof. We got a nice uh, flybridge windshield which sets up a venturi so air goes over the top. Uh, there's natural air through port lights and deck hatches which open. And now we'll go back down and go up on the flybridge and then we'll go and toward the inside of the boat. Uh, we have the teak decking option right here. Uh, that is an option, so if you don't want that, you don't have to have it. This uh, companionway ladder, by the way, that does go up to the flybridge, uh, that is, uh, can be moved forward out of the way. So if you're just socializing here in the lower cockpit, don't want that ladder there, you can push it out against the bulkhead. Again, this is very easy. I'm doing this one-handed. You can see it's not complicated. And so nice wide side decks. And you come up onto a beautiful social flybridge with seats on both sides. Uh, here's an L-shaped settee. That backrest there can be forward or aft. This table swings out uh, to be full width. So you can sit people on both sides of this flybridge area and have dinner or cocktails. And these seats backrests can be both uh, this facing aft or they can be facing forward as companion seats. Uh, so you've got a full uh, array of electronics and controls up here, including your bow and stern thrusters and trim tabs and all the rest. Uh, anchor windows can be controlled from here. So um, it's a beautiful spot. The visibility, of course, is great. Here's our lovely marina, South Warm Yacht Yard. And you can see all of that uh, without straining here from the top. This boat has a bimini, uh, so uh, you can be protected by the sun or you can hinge that back out of the way if you want to get the sun. we got a big area here in the back. People use this for different purposes. Uh, we've got a couple of chairs that come standard with this boat and uh, you can socialize back here as well. Uh, here you've got a grill and a sink and then another fridge. And some storage so this upper galley um, you're just going to spend a lot of time on this flybridge that's for sure uh, it's a place you want, really want to spend time uh, it's well protected with railings all the way around and now we'll 
come down these stairs, which is again not hard to do. And we'll go at this point take a look at the inside of the boat. Now I have these uh, doors open already. I want to give you a sense of just how open and spacious this area is and how well connected they are. Uh, this is the galley which is aft on this boat. It's the first of the swift trawlers to really put the galley back in the cockpit. Uh, yet it's still a full galley with a two burner propane stove and uh, uh, so got a two burner, two basin sink, uh, ice box, uh, uh, here's a wastebasket and a storage locker there, and then two ice boxes, or I should say refrigerator and freezer on the opposite side, which I'll open for you on the way in. Uh, this is your uh, engine access right here. Uh, really, a, a really easy access to that. Uh, so a good size fridge as we go in, and a good size freezer as well. So a more household style equipment here. Your controls start here. This is a touch screen control, so really simple boat to get to know to use. Uh, down under this locker, we've got a ice maker right there. I can't hold, I'll leave one without that. Air conditioning under the other locker. And again, this is your galley. Another look at that. Two basin sink. There's a big, uh, well organized storage locker there. You have this convection uh, oven underneath here, and a wastebasket underneath this uh, counter, plus storage all around. So a really great galley and the fact that it's right here by the cockpit is terrific. You make sandwiches, you're right here. If you're dining inside, uh, the, the uh, dinette and table are right here. So now you got a port settee, a big U-shaped settee. Uh, this area does make up into a bed if you need to sleep more. Uh, you got beautiful visibility all around. So you got these big windows on the side. That one opens. You got the windshields forward. You got this huge sliding door and uh, more visibility back here. So uh, really a great boat to be on. There's curtains for privacy, but uh, but all the visibility you want and a lot of light, natural and, and regular light uh, when you uh, are on board. Uh, really great uh, helm station. As I said, this is uh, a helm station that makes it really easy to drive from down below if you're driving shorthanded. You have the door here, you got the door through the hull right there, so step off with your spring line and everything is uh, under control. Uh, you got dual lever controls here, you got your bow and stern thruster up on top, and of course all your electronics and switches and whatnot are, are right here. Uh, plus there are defrosters for the windshield forward, so uh, that will help you if you're boating up here in the northeast where we are. Uh, and there is a little, uh, there's lots of little features about the boat, I can't name them all. But there is a tray which slides out to give you another six inches of standing headroom here. So if you're short and want a little longer view, uh, you can uh, slide that tray out and uh, have all the uh, visibility that you want forward. Uh, now down just three short stairs into the uh, area below. We'll slide right forward into the master stateroom. Uh, this is a beautiful space. And uh, there is a hatch directly overhead. I have the uh, bow cushion over it right now, but if we hinge that bow cushion back, all that light would stream in there and the air would stream in there. But in addition to the overhead hatch, you got these two big side windows in the hull, and each one of those has an opening port light for natural uh, for ventilation. So really a great space. You got indirect lighting, very pretty at night. You got overhead lighting, and you got reading lights at the head of this berth. So uh, really a tremendous, uh, a tremendous space to come hang out. Now this cabin has a separate uh, toilet and sink area, which is separate from the shower. So um, somebody can be uh, brushing their teeth or hitting the head uh, while the other person is taking a shower. So here you have a real dedicated stall shower with a seat, with a port light, with a hatch so uh, what a great uh, size I mean this is a big space here uh, and it's got nicely detailed teak and fiberglass so very easy to keep that clean now let's slide back this is the second head and there's a shower here as well so this would be the day head and guest head toilet and uh, sink and uh, shower wand 
of course your handsome broker there in the mirror. Uh, here on the starboard side is a guest cabin. This has a single uh, twin bed in it. Uh, there is in the back a washer dryer. It's kind of a surprise back there. Some people don't notice it. Uh, and then there's an opening port light in this cabin. And then if we pan across to the port side, this is another guest cabin. This one has two twin beds in it. And again, a couple of opening port lights and a big window in the hull. So nobody feels claustrophobic. Lots of lockers all around. Storage under the floor. So uh, give me a call. This is a boat full of features, which I haven't even covered. And uh, I'd love to chat with you more about it. It's here. It's in the water. It's commissioned. It's ready to go. You could be cruising uh, to Nantucket or Martha's Vineyard or Newport uh, in a very short amount of time. So call me again. It's Mark Edwards. I'm at Cape Yachts. And my cell phone is 774-526-0914. My email is medwards at capeyachts.com. Thank you for watching.